this project is called the pinch pot fish or the pinch pot shark. You're going to get a lump of clay about the size of your fist. If it's too big, you can just pinch and pull some off and put it to the side. Our first job is to make a sphere. You can use the palm of your hand to shape the clay. You can roll it. You can roll it between your two hands. But you want to start shaping your clay. into the sphere. You can use some water on your hands to smooth out any cracks, lumps, or bumps. You don't want too much water, just enough. This is air dry clay. If it was not air dry clay, it was going to be in, used in a kiln. We would wedge the clay to remove air bubbles by throwing with force the clay ball against the piece of paper to remove air bubbles. But this is not going in a kiln, so we don't need to worry about that right now. You want to work on a piece of paper so you don't lose clay on the table. It's easy to remove the, the clay from the paper. It makes it a lot easier. There are only three ways to build with your clay after you make this sphere. First you make the sphere if you're going to make the pinch pot which we're going to do. Your pinch pot will look like a bird's nest or half of a baseball. So that is one way to build with clay. Another way to build with clay is to make coils The last way is to make slabs. These are the three ways that you can build with clay. We're going to be using the pinch pot to make a pinch pot sea creature. So first we're going to make the pinch pot. We put the pinch pot on its side. This is the back end of the pinch pot. So this is the bottom here. This is the back of the pinch pot here. This is the opening here. This is the opening here. And we're going to turn this into a sea creature. So we're going to use spheres to make the eyes. We're going, we're going to use a slab to make the tongue. We roll a piece of clay into a sphere and then we flatten it and we turn that into the little slab here. There's only three ways to build with clay. Our coils, our pinch pot, our slabs. So this is a little slab from the sphere. You can add teeth by making a pyramid-like shape and attaching those little teeth in the fish's mouth. We're going to take this slab shape again and you can use it to make the fins. And I've seen the fins made different shapes. You can cut the slab once it's this shape and attach it. If you want to add spikes, you can use the pyramid again that we're going to talk about in this video. And also you can make like a tail by pinching and pulling out the pyramid shape to make all the parts of your sea creature. So, we have our sphere and we got to make our pinch pot first. So we've got this step done, now we're going to make the pinch pot. You're going to press your thumb inside your clay to make a starting point. The fingers stay on the outside and the thumbs 
go on the inside. You don't want to put it down as you put the clay down and gets a really heavy bottom and really thin walls on the sides. So we're going to pinch and turn. We're keeping the clay in the air. We're letting gravity pull the clay down over your, your thumbs. So the thumbs are inside. Your fingers are outside. You don't want to push down on the top of the clay. It'll make a hole and then you'll have to start over. Clay is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, it's okay. You can just start back over by crunching it back up into a sphere and you just start again. So it should look like half of a baseball or like a bird's nest when it is done. So this is where we're at. We just took the sphere and we turned it into a pinch pot. And now we wanna put it on its side to make our little, our little clay fish, okay? So you can work on the paper or on a CD, makes it easier also. We're gonna push the clay down to make the body of the fish or the shark, whatever you wanna call it. Take some water, smooth out the surface of your clay, getting rid of all the cracks, the lumps, the bumps. So you can see that up close. Not a lot of water, but we're just giving it a smooth touch, smooth surface. Great. And now we're going to add attachments. So in order to add attachments, you need to use clay glue. Clay glue is slip. It's water and clay together. So I'm pinching off a little bit of clay and adding it to the water to make some clay glue. You can see that right there. So a little bit of clay glue. So in order to put two pieces of clay together, you need to use slip. So slip is clay plus water. That is clay glue. And in order to put two pieces together, you can't just push the two pieces together. They will look like they are attached. And then when they dry, they will fall apart. So you want to scratch to attach. So if we're gonna press two spheres together, here's our two spheres. We wanna scratch in one direction, like making hashtags, and on the other side of what you're going to attach and you're going to put slip in between and then press your two pieces together. This is called scratching to attach. So scratch to attach. Slip and score. So this is slip. It's clay glue. There it is. This scratching that we did is scoring. And what happens is it fuses the two pieces of clay together. All right, so now we're on to the fun stuff, adding all your attachments. So we have a tray of tools. We have our slip, our clay and water. There's extra clay in the middle of the table to grab parts to add on to your clay fish. We're back to making spheres, just smaller ones for the eyes. Do you want one eye, two eyes, three eyes? It's up to you. Scratch. Scratch on the surface where you would like the piece to go. Add some clay glue. Slip as clay and water. I'm pressing from the inside and the outside together, smoothing out your edges. Great, let's add our other eye. Pinch off the clay. Roll the clay. Scratch where you would like it to go. Press your two pieces together. And then you can see I have my two eyes on my fish. Let's make 
the tongue from the slab. So we start off with a sphere. Flatten it. You're going to peel this off the paper if it got stuck. So we're working on top of paper. You're going to cut the clay to shape the tongue. I'm using a toothpick to do that. You might want to pinch and pull out the tongue to make it a little bit longer if you like that or shorter. It's up to you. You want it on the thicker side. You want things thick like your pinky or think thick like a pencil. You can also see the thickness of the pinch pot is thick like my pinky or thick like a pencil or like the thickness of a sharpie. It's like thick walls. We're going to scratch. Scratch inside here in two different directions. Add your clay glue. Add it on this piece also. Press the two pieces together. Smooth out the edges. There you go. Draw on the tongue if you would like. There you go. We got the beginning of the fish. We're going to take spheres and make fins. I'll show you a couple different ways to make fins. So there's my little ball. We're flattening it to make a sphere shape. And we're going to cut the shape that you wish to have. I'm going to pinch and pull that down. Voila, you have a little fin shape that's going to go on the side of your fish. We're going to scratch to attach, slip and score. Slip is clay glue. I'm going to turn this on the side so you can see better. Add your clay glue on both sides. Press your pieces together. Oh, I have it in the wrong direction. One second. You see there's one little fin. Let's do a different fin on the other side so you can see what that looks like. I'm going to have it be like sticking out like that. So I put it on the table to shape the bottom of it flat. You can see it can stand by itself. And I'm pushing it against the table so that it's standing by itself. So it's not just freestanding in the air. Pick that up. So you can see this is a little different style of fin than this one. Okay, let's add a back fin. I'll also show the pyramid also. We're going to pinch and pull up to make the back. So this is the bottom, the base, and then I, I pinched and pulled upwards to make that shape. It's going to go back here and be the back fin of the fish.
can see there, I have the back fin. I'm pushing it against the CD. And there we go. Let's make a tooth so you know how to do that. Give it a big kind of squarish bottom like a pyramid and pull up, pull up. You're gonna pull some of this off. So this is the strongest part. So you can imagine this as a tooth. It's a little big. You could make it smaller. It also would work great as like a spike on the back. Let's make it a little smaller tooth. It's a little too big for the mouth that I have. Pinch and pull up. Pinch and pull up. And there is the tooth shape. And it kind of looks like a Hershey Kiss, actually. And then this is where you would scratch and attach your parts together. It's kind of a really big tooth, but you get the idea of what that would look like if you scratch and attach that together. Um, you could just make it smaller. We could also put like a pearl on the fish's tongue. If you would like to add like a pearl on the end of the tongue, you would scratch and attach those pieces together. If you want to make something really tall off your fish, you can do that by making a coil. If you remember coils, we've been using all of these parts. If you want to make like a coil is the other way to build up with the clay. If you want to make something really tall like this but this is air dry clay so sometimes what I have students do is push a toothpick in and then sink that into the project you'd still scratch and attach but that would give you something taller like that and you can scratch and attach your parts so those are some ideas to adding making the attachments the add-ons to your project. Now, when class is over, what you're gonna do, I have paper bowls for you that I purchased. You're gonna, you can take the CD if you'd like. If you don't want the CD, you can just carefully remove the CD if you like. It's up to you if you wanna keep it or not. Put it in your paper bowl. Put the other paper bowl on top. Write your name. Put your class code, so it's the grade that you're in, and the first letter of your teacher's name. That's your class code, so if this gets separated from you, we can get it back to you. And see me during class, and I will give you a couple of staples for your fish tank to go home. So your fish is going to get transported home in this little tank. Now, if this falls on the school bus and something happens to your project, it's still wet. So when you get home, you can just reshape it. Just fix whatever was messed up on the bus ride. When you get it home, open up your paper bowl. Let your project air dry somewhere. Not directly in the sun and not directly next to a heater. If it dries too fast, it will crack. So dry this somewhere like on a bookshelf away from a window and then you can paint it with like nail polish or like acrylic paint and it's done all right that's it see you next time bye